we were looking for a way to bring some competition and some innovation, new ideas into the way we were sourcing for R&D. Um, we'd been in an established long-term relationship and uh, we're looking for a way to try to inject some life into that and bring some new ideas into that process. The open communications, regular updates, we push each other to make sure we meet those deadlines and it's okay to do that, which felt good. And the, the foundation of all that is that we're working for the best interest of both companies, so that trust really helps us feel open and willing to share the information. Building on what Sam said, I think the things that help make us successful in addition to the communication is um, the honesty and the transparency. Uh, I think we're very clear about what we can do as well as what we can't do, which is probably is, is as important if not more. Um, there's not over-promising and under-delivering, it's, it's understanding what's really possible and then delivering against those commitments. That, that builds the trust um, that helps us do things, you know, building on what we started with. So I think what a diverse supplier does is you have certain people within the organization at Lilly that want to help you develop as part of the community development piece. So I think it gets you a door to open up and meet with the right people. What is really important is to understand that once you get to the door, it isn't about being diverse anymore. It's about bringing value, understanding their processes, and being a true partner. But what we're really looking for here is a high quality service that helps our researchers be as productive as possible. So all the diverse piece does, it gets you to the table to talk about you as a company and your ideas and being heard.